Hello, Crafty Crandall here, and today I am recreating or redesigning the book cover for the book The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Now, this is a book that I am reading for the reading rush, and am right now only a little bit more than halfway through at the time that you're you're watching this, but I've been really enjoying it a lot. And I'm very excited to finish it. I think that, you know, at the end it might end up being actually one of my first five-star reads of the year. So kudos to The Reading Rush for making me read this book. I, like I said, I've really been enjoying it. I absolutely love the representation of the martial arts in this book. And that's something that I really wanted to capture in this silhouette that you see me sketching here. So uh, right there is the main character, Rin. She is a martial artist, and I really tried to capture a somewhat more dynamic pose in this sketch than I would normally create, although I did so without reference, so I'm not positive that it came out great, but honestly, it is what it is. tried my best, and I think that overall it captures the dynamicism that I wanted while portraying like a specific part in the book that... If you read it, you probably know um, what part this is. Then beside Rin, I am actually sketching uh, another character in the book who is briefly, briefly there. And I thought that it was kind of an interesting dynamic and really captures the beginning part of the book where Rin is at school alongside her wartime experience. So that was really the concept I was going for in this sketch. And then obviously I wanted to incorporate the poppy flowers as well because of the name of the book and the recurring theme of the poppy flowers throughout. So I added those into the sketch and then I started painting. So I wanted the side character to be a lot more like fluid and less visible, kind of like a fading in character. And then I wanted Rin to be really obvious and kind of the, the main focal point of this illustration. So you'll see here, I'm using a wet and wet technique to achieve a more loose effect with the, the gray tones. And then I take my red and I start building up the shadows for the poppy flowers. Now, these took me a long time to get right. And in the end, I actually really like how they came out, but throughout the painting process, I felt like these were not quite coming out the way that I wanted. So although I achieved the effect in the end, my process for getting there was a little bit skewed. I'm not sure that I had a clear plan in mind when painting them, so I mean, kudos to me for getting it right in the end, but... I think next time when I paint a flower, I need to go into it with a bit more of a plan in advance. So finally, I paint in the stems for the flowers and then just start trying to build up a bit more shadow so that we can have some really clear contrast in the cover. One thing that I really like about the original cover of The Poppy War is that it just has such amazing uh, calligraphic lines and is clearly in, you know, the Chinese calligraphy style. It's just phenomenal. So I really liked that about the original cover, and although I am not a calligraphist myself, I tried to keep some of those loose brush strokes kind of alive in my representation of the cover. And while I, I know that I did not achieve this to the effect of the original cover, you know, at least I tried and I'm building up my skills with that, so... There you have it. <laughs> like I said, these flowers were a little bit difficult to achieve, so here I am continuing to try to work on them and get something that resembles the poppy flower that you can see to my left. I had just Google images uh, pulled up with the search of poppy. Um, I think I searched poppy flower and just had all of the images up so that I could reference the generalized shape of the poppy flower while not actually copying you know, a specific reference for this.
Now, once I was done with the flowers, I went into my Carbon Black ink, which is a watercolor, I, I apologize, a waterproof ink. And I just started masking off the silhouette with that ink so that it would be a stark black shape in the midst of all of these really soft tones that we've built so far. So I completely filled that in. And at this point, I had actually knocked my canvas too low. I didn't realize that it wasn't in the field of view. But, I mean, you can, you can understand the idea. We just filled in the figure with black. Completely and tried to achieve so the the finicky thing with this ink is that it's hard to get like a solid black so i actually had to go through that a couple of times and i didn't make you sit through it but to get the the darkest values out of that black i actually had to go through it more than once and then finally i tried to keep a really loose hand while lettering the poppy war for the title and also the author's name, which you don't see in this clip. And now for everyone's favorite part, I took off the tape once the image had dried. Overall, I was pretty happy with how this turned out and think it was a decent painting and a decent recreate of the original cover art, although I am much more a fan of the original cover art than my own. Now, once I finished the illustration in physical form, I actually went to my iPad in Procreate and prepared it for the Reading Rush's Instagram book cover challenge. So you'll see me doing that here in a moment. It's a really short clip, but essentially I just drew some more poppy flowers in Procreate and I situated the image alongside the original cover art in Procreate such that, you know, my Instagram viewers could see both and see it in kind of a more put together form than I might normally put on an Instagram post. So I did that, posted it to my Instagram, and that was that. Thank you all for watching this video. Let me know how you liked it. Please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.